Lana Michelle Murr, born October 11, 1970, better known by her stage name McLight, is an American rapper, disc jockey, entrepreneur and actress. Considered one of the pioneers of female rap, McLight first gained fame in the late 1980s, becoming the first female rapper to release a full solo album with 1988's critically acclaimed Light as a Rock. The album spawned the singles 10% Dis and Paper Thin. 8, 9. In 1989, she joined the supergroup Stop the Violence Movement, and appeared on the single Self Destruction, which was the inaugural number one single on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles chart. Her second album Eyes on This 1989, included the single Cha Cha Cha. In 1991, McLeod released the hit single Poor Georgie, which marked her first appearance on the Billboard Hot 100. Her 1993 single, Roughneck, made her the first solo woman rapper to achieve a gold certification from the Recording Industry Association of America, RIA. In 1994, she collaborated with Janet Jackson on the song, You Want This, and was featured alongside Queen Latifah and Yo-Yo on the remix track, I Wanna Be Down, by Brandy. Her 1996 single, Keep On, Keepin' On, featuring XSCAPE reached the top 10 on Billboard Hot 100. She then collaborated with Missy Elliott on the hit song Cold Rock A Party, which would become her fifth number one song on the Hot Rap Singles chart. In 2004, she was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Female Rap Solo Performance for the track Ride With Me. Throughout her career, McLeod had collaborations with mainstream artists such as Sinead O'Connor, Will Smith, Mary J. Blige, Jay-Z, Moby, Aerosmith, Beyonce and Will.i.am, and has been cited as an influence to many women in hip-hop. Billboard and Vibe ranked her as one of the 50 greatest rappers 2023. She has received the I Am Hip Hop Icon Lifetime Achievement from the Bet Hip Hop Awards, and was honored at the VH1 Hip Hop Honors. In October 2014, Light became the first female artist to perform hip-hop at the White House. In September 2016 she was awarded with the W.E.B. Du Bois Medal, Harvard University's highest honor in the field of African and African American studies. In addition to her career as a rapper, she has worked in parallel as voiceover talent for various events, writer, DJ and has starred in various roles in film and television. In 2022 has her directional debut with the short film Break Up in Love. Light has also worked with several charities, including her own foundation, Hip Hop Sisters. Early Life Lana Michelle Murr was raised in the East Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York City. She began rapping at the age of 12. McLeod's original stage name was Sparkle. She began recording her first track at age 14 although it took two years before it was able to be released. She regards Milk D and DJ Guys, the hip-hop duo Audio 2, as totally like her brothers, because the three grew up together. Audio 2's father, Nat Robinson, started a label for them called First Priority. After making the label, Robinson cut a deal with Atlantic under a condition that Light would get a record contract with Atlantic as well. Musical Career Beginnings, Light as a Rock and Eyes on This 1987 to 1990 In 1987, at the age of 16, 20, Light released her debut single, I Cram to Understand You, Sam, being one of the first songs written about the crack era. She was 12 years old at the time she wrote the song. McLeod in 1988 at Firehouse Studios in Brooklyn with her producers Gizmo, Milk D and King of Chill and engineer Yoram Vazin. In April 1988, she would release her debut album Light as a Rock. In addition to I Cram to Understand You, Sam, were released as singles Paper Thin, the eponymous Light as a Rock, and 10% Dis, a distract to the Herbius or Associate Antoinette. The album peaked number 50 on the then Billboard Top Black Albums. Despite not having a great commercial performance, it is considered one of the best and most important rap albums, both in the 80s and in history. That year the Village Voice magazine would rate Light as the best female vocalist in hip-hop. 
Light was also featured in the remix and music video of I Want Your Hands On Me by Irish singer Sine and O'Connor, which debuted in May of that year on MTV. In January 1989 Light joined Stop the Violence Movement with Boogie Down Productions, Public Enemy and Heavy D, among others. Together they released the single Self-Destruction in response to violence in the hip-hop and African-American communities. The song debuted at number one on the first week of Billboard Hot Rap Singles existence and the proceeds were donated to the National Urban League. In late August of that year, her song I'm Not Having It with Positive K would have an entry on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles, peaking at number 16, becoming McLeight's first appearance on a chart as solo artist. In October 1989 Light would publish her second album Eyes on This. This album, like its predecessor, received a great critical reception and is recognized as a hip-hop classic. With Eyes on This she became the first solo female rapper to have an entry on the Billboard 200. From this album came the singles Cha Cha Cha, with which for the first time as solo artist she charted on the Billboard Hot Black Singles and reached number one on the Hot Rap Singles. Stop, Look, Listen, and the socially conscious Cappuccino. During that year she also collaborated with Foster and McElroy, known for their work with En Vogue and Tony. Tony. Tanae. In the song Dr. Soul. This single peaked number 10 on Billboard Black Songs. In 1990 McLeight performed at Carnegie Hall. McLeight's DJ since the start of her career, DJ K-Rock, is a cousin, Kenneth Murrer. Aside from a break in 1992, the two have toured consistently to the present. During that time she also had her own dancers, Leg 1 and Leg 2, who performed with her both in shows and in music videos. 1991-1995, Act Like You Know and Ain't No Other on May 1, 1991, Light performed on Yo! Unplugged Rap, the first MTV Unplugged to feature rap artists alongside a tribe called Quest, De La Soul and LL Cool J. Her performance was praised by Entertainment Weekly's Ken Tucker, who commented, McLight performed her song, Cappuccino, like a rapping Aretha Franklin, Light brought out the soul in her lyrics. In September 1991, Light released her third album, Act Like You Know, which incorporates a soft drawer and b slash new jack swing sound across some of the tracks. This release received more mixed reviews than her previous albums and commercially it performed more weekly than its predecessor, Eyes on This. From this album came the singles When in Love and the Socially Conscious Poor Georgie, Light's first entry on the Billboard Hot 100 and her third number one on the Hot Rap Singles and Eyes Are the Soul. That year she also participated in the socially conscious single Heal Yourself by the collective Heal Human Education Against Lies, which also included Big Daddy Kane, Boogie Down Productions, Run DMC, Queen Latifah and LL Cool J. Between 1991 and 1992 Light participated in The Greatest Rap Show Ever concert held at Madison Square Garden with Public Enemy, Naughty by Nature, Queen Latifah. Ghetto Boys and DJ Jazzy Jeff and The Fresh Prince, among others. In the fall of 1991, she also performed in the hip-hop special Sisters in the Name of Rap alongside Salt and Peppa, Yo-Yo, Queen Latifah and Roxanne Shante, among many others. It was recorded at the Ritz in Nike as a pay-per-view TV concert and released on VHS the following year. In October 1992, as part of the Mo Money soundtrack, McLeight collaborated with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, known primarily for their work with Janet Jackson, on the single Ice Cream Dream. In 1992 she also performed on Chris Cross's Back to School Jam Tour, which also featured a tribe called Quest and Fushnikins. Also during that year Light began work on her next album, titled Ain't No Other, which was released on June 22, 1993. With this album, in which she adopts a more hardcore hip-hop sound, Light achieved better critical reception than her predecessor. Roughneck was released as a single, which would become her first top 40 single on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at number 35, and fourth number one on the Hot Rap Singles, also earning her first gold certification. 
with Roughneck, McLeight would also get a nomination for the 36th edition of the Grammy Awards in the Best Rap Solo Performance category. In October of that year, Light performed at the 1993 Budweiser Superfest with SWV, Belbeve DeVoe, Levert, Big Daddy Kane and Silk. In May 1994 McLeight participated on the performance on the finale of the Arsenio Hall show, alongside the likes of KRS-One, Watang Clan, Naughty by Nature, Guru of Gangstar, Yo-Yo, Das Ifks and a tribe called Quest, among others. In June collaborates with Ice Cube, Public Enemies Chuck D and Ice T on Public Enemies Terminator X album Super Bad. In the middle of 1994 she collaborated with Janet Jackson on the single remix and music video for You Want This, peaking at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and earning a nomination for Music Video of the Year at the 2th edition of the Soul Train Lady of Soul Awards. Also during the summer of Single Quote 94 participated in Janet Jackson's Janet World Tour. In early 1995, she collaborated with Queen Latifah and Yo-Yo on the remix of Brandy's top 10 single I Wanna Be Down, earning a nomination at the 12th edition of the MTV Video Music Award in the Best Rap Video category. In April of that year collaborated alongside Meshul Ndegio Cello, Petra, Yo-Yo, Latifah, Salt and Peppa and TLC's Left Eye Lopes in the rapper mix of Freedom on the Panther movie soundtrack. In June she performed at the Jam for Peace with Warren G, Mary J. Blige, Brownstone, Audina Howard, Montel Jordan and Soul For Real. That year she also collaborated with Lynn Q on the remix of Mary J. Blige's You Bring Me Joy. 1996-1998 Bad As I Wanna Be and 7 and 7 McLeight in 1996. In February 1996, McLeight collaborated on the R&B group XSCAPE's single Can't Hang. In that month also collaborated with Lord Finesse on the interlude Taking It Light from his album The Awakening. In March, after signing with East West Records, she released Keep On Keepin' On, the first single from her forthcoming album. This new collaboration with XSCAP reached number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, her highest position on this chart as main artist, getting a gold certification. Keep On Keepin' On would also be part of the soundtrack of the film Sunset Park. In September win the Best R&B, Soul or Rap Video category in the 3TH edition of Soul Train Lady of Soul Awards with this song. In August of that same year, Light released her fifth album, Bad As I Wanna Be with tracks with a pop slash R and B oriented sound, the album would receive mixed reviews. In November, is released as single a Sean Puffy Combs remix of Cold Rock A Party featuring Missy Elliott. This single peaked at number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100 and would become her fifth number one single on the Hot Rap Singles, fourth as lead artist, earning a gold certification. It also enters the top 40 of various charts outside the United States, being number 1 and certified platinum in New Zealand. In February 1997, Keep On Pushin' was included in the soundtrack of Dangerous Ground, in which McLeight, Bahamadia, Nonchalant and Yo-Yo collaborate under the production of Pete Rock. In March 1997, she collaborated with R&B singer Billy Lawrence on the single Come On which was included in the soundtrack of the movie Set It Off. Between June and July of that year she embarked on a USO tour, performing for American troops in Italy and Greece. In November she collaborated with LL Cool J and Busta Rhymes on the debut album of the R&B supergroup LSG on the track Curious, which was later released as single. That year Light also collaborated with Parliament Funkadelic's Bootsy Collins on the single I'm Leaving You, Gotta Go. Gotta Go from his album Fresh Outta P. University. McLeod in Hamburg, Germany, in 1998. In August 1998 McLeod released her sixth studio album Seven and Seven. This would have a poor commercial and critical reception despite having the collaboration of famous producers and artists such as the Neptunes, LL Cool J, Missy Elliott, Les and Trackmasters, which would lead to Light's departure from East West Records. That year she also embarks again on a USO tour, performing in Germany. 1999-2012, to 
collaborations, and releases independently in November 1999. McLeight collaborated in the remix of Jammin' of Bob Marley in the remix album Chant Down Babylon. This track would later be released as single. During that month she also collaborated with Will Smith and Tatiana Ali on Who Am I from Smith's album Millennium. In March 2000 McLeight collaborated with Common and Billow on the track, a film called Pimp, on Common's album Like Water for Chocolate. In September 2001 her first compilation album The Very Best of McLeight was released. In April 2002 the soundtrack for the TV series Dark Angel is released, which includes Light Song's Dark Angel theme, in collaboration with Public Enemy and No Deals, with Erica Yancey. In May of that year, McLeight collaborated with Angie Stone on the album version of Jam for the Ladies by electronica musician Moby. In November she collaborates with Eric Sermon and Radiga on the track Tell Me on Sermon's album React. During that time Light also became honorary member of Sermon and Redman's supergroup Def Squad. In March 2003, Light released the independently produced record Da Underground Heat, Volume 1, featuring Jamie Foxx. The album has little commercial impact and mixed reviews, but the single Ride With Me get a nomination for the 46th edition of the Grammy Awards in the Best Female Rap Vocal Performance category. In June of that year she teamed the rock group Aerosmith, Public Enemies Chuck D and Flavor Flav, Busta Rhymes and Fifth Dua in the group The Spitballers. Together release Let's Get Loud Everybody Get Up, which became the opening song of the 11th edition of the SB Awards. In August Light collaborated with Beyoncé, Missy Elliott and Free on the single Fighting Temptation as part of the soundtrack for the homonymous film. That same month she released the compilation album The Shit I Never Dropped, which includes previously unreleased collaborations with En Vogue's Don Robinson, Dub Rat, Missy Elliott, Eric Sermon and Clips. In September collaborates with Black Eyed Peas' Will.i.am and Fergie on the track Mash Out on Will.i.am album Must Be 21. In May 2004, McLeight collaborated with Tina Marie and Medusa on the song The Mackin' Game from Tina Marie's album Ladonia. 60. In August he collaborated with Boys to Men on their cover of What You Won't Do for Love. That year Light was also nominated at the 4th edition of the BET Awards in the Best Female Hip Hop Artist category. In 2005, she released two songs produced by Richard Wolfie Wolf called Can I Get It Now and Don't Walk Away. McLeight's song My Main Aim was the title song of the basketball video game NBA Live 2005 by eSports. That year also collaborated with the Polish-born German producer DJ Tomek on the track Party for Laugh from his album Emma Ains. In July 2006 McLeight releases The Wonder Years in collaboration with DJ Premier. In October of that year, Light was one of the artists honored at the 3TH edition of the VH1 Hip Hop Honors, where she performed with Dub Rat, Lil Kim, Yo-Yo and Remy Ma. Light would be the first female solo rapper to achieve this recognition. During that time also performed on the Ebony Black Family Reunion Tour along with Doug E. Fresh, Slick Rick, and Houdini. 63 Light at the October 14, 2007 Bet Hip Hop Awards In 2007 McLeight joined The Roots and Big Daddy Kane on the VH1 Hip Hop Honors Tour. 64 On July 9 performed at the opening of the 25th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Concert Series in Brooklyn. That month also performed for first time at the Essence Music Festival in New Orleans. In 2007 Light also released the singles Mad At Me and Money with KRS-One, the latter part of KRS-One's album Adventures in MCN. In May 2008, as member of the group Almost September with Philip Whitey White and Jared Lee Gosselin, McLeight released the Almost September ep. This features an R&B slash soul oriented sound. 66 Later she embarks with the group on a tour in Europe. In June is released the song Closer, a collaboration with her cousin Charles Hamilton. In October of that year performed Cha 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 at the 3TH edition of the Bet Hip Hop Awards. 69 In December McLeight collaborates with Jay-Z on BK Anthem. 
In February 2009 Light collaborated with India Airy on the track, Psalms 23, from her album Testimony, Volume 2, Love and Politics. In June of that year, Light collaborated again with Tina Marie on the track, The Pressure, from her latest album Congo Square. In that year also released the single with a reggae-oriented sound, Brooklyn. In December 2010, she performed on the concert-slash-TV special VH1 Divas Salute the Troops, which also featured Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Carrie Hilson, and Hart. In 2011 McLight performed again at the Essence Music Festival and released the single Da 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 Da. In March 2012 collaborated with Grammy-winning singer Macy Gray on the interlude Really skit from her album Covered. That year she also released the single Dop Style and her own mobile app McLight App, where publishes her exclusive musical releases. 2013 Present, Legend and Following Projects In January 2013 McLight receives the Lifetime Achievement Award at Russell Simmons's Hip Hop Inaugural Ball. In June of that year releases Craven in collaboration with Stan Carazosa as the first single from her forthcoming album. In October, Light was honored with the Icon Lifetime Achievement I Am Hip Hop at the 8th edition of the Bet Hip Hop Awards for her contributions to hip hop culture. In September 2014, Dear John, featuring Common and 10 Beats, was released as the second single. That same month she reunited with Queen Latifah. Brandy and Yo-Yo to perform I Wanna Be Down at the 2014 Bet Hip Hop Awards in celebration of its 20th anniversary. On October 14, 2014, McLight performed Cha 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 and Dear John to the President Barack Obama at the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the legislation that created the National Endowment for the Humanities and the National Endowment for the Arts becoming the first female artist to perform hip-hop at the White House. In November released, Ball, as the third single. In April 2015, McLight released Legend, her eighth solo album and her first full-length studio album in 12 years. As part of Record Store Day, the album was available for 24 hours only on a limited edition vinyl collector's item. Shortly before the album's release, the fourth and final single, Check, was released. In July 2016 Light performs at the Essence Music Festival in New Orleans. In September she is awarded the W.E.B. Dubois Medal, the Harvard University's highest honor in the field of African and African American studies. In October collaborated with Eric B. Nate on the track, Holdin' On, from his eponymous album. On June 11, 2017, during Hot 97's annual Summer Jam Music Festival, Remy Ma brought out McLight, along with The Lady of Rage, Cardi B, Young M, A, Mani Love, Lil Kim, and Queen Latifah, to celebrate female rappers and perform Latifah's 1993 hit single, Unity, about female empowerment. Also released the single, Money on My Mind. During 2018, she continued to release a strand of singles, one of which was Easy, in response to her British audience claiming that artists who recorded New Jack Swing were sexually explicit. In July of that year she was special guest on Queen Latifah's show Ladies First on Essence Music Festival along with Brandy, Missy Elliott, Salt and Peppa, Roxanne Shanti, Yo-Yo, Mani Love and Remy Ma. In January 2019 received the Trailblazer Award at the Trumpet Awards in Atlanta with Yo-Yo. Lil Mama, Da Brat, Big Tiger, and DJ K-Rock helping to celebrate with a performance of light songs. Other Ventures Acting Her first acting role was in 1991, an off-Broadway theater play titled Club 12, a hip-hop twist on Twelfth Night alongside with Clef Jean, Lauren Hill, and Lise Nicole Carson. After she made her film debut in the 1993 movie titled Fly By Night, Fr. Starring alongside Jeffrey Sams, Ron Bryce, and Steve Gomer, she also starred other films, such as A Love Tale, 1999, Train Ride, 2000, Civil Brand, 2002, and Plyo's Ball, 2003. In 2011, she guest starred in the regular show episode, Wrap It Up, portraying a member of a hip-hop group also including characters voiced by Tyler, 
the creator and childish Gambino. Light signed with the production unit, Duck the Moon, for three years and eventually made a deal with Sirius Satellite Radio. Light also made appearances on the following television shows, Lyric Cafe, Hip Hop Honors, and Black in the 80s. In June 2006, McLight was interviewed for the documentary The Rapper Part, Part 2. McLight talked about her career in rap music and what it was like during the beginnings of hip hop. She also performs a concert of her most famous hits. The program is produced by Rex Barnett. In 2007, Light joined the cast of MTV's celebrity rap superstar and coached Cher Jackson to a hip hop MC victory in a mere eight weeks. In 2017 Light played Detective McKenna Daniels in the drama series Tales. Immediately following she played D Special Agent Katrina Single Court K. C. Walsh in the police drama SWAT and Tiffany in TV1 production Love to Death. Light has been featured on television as herself on such shows as In Living Color, Moesha, Cousin Skeeter, New York Undercover, My Wife and Kids, and Sisters in the Name of Rap. She also acted on such TV shows as In the House, Get Real, Half and Half, Queen of the South, and The District. In 2020, Light starred in Bad Hair directed by Justin Simeon, and Sylvie's Love, a period piece set in the 1960s opposite Tessa Thompson. In 2021 and 2022, Light starred as Tina Nixon in VH1's Hip Hop Family Christmas and its respective sequel, Hip Hop Family Christmas Wedding alongside Carrie Hilson, Nebraska Yo, Terrence J, Redman, and Saria. Business and Commerce. McLeod opened Chetel, a Los Angeles boutique that specialized in accessories from belts to sunglasses. We sell a mixture of new and vintage items, she explained. We also have a few signature pieces that are done just for the star. We boast to bring a little New York flavor out here to California. In 1997, McLeod launched Somi Gyral Incorporated, a global entertainment firm that specializes in artist management and development, production, and creative services and consulting. Voiceover. In 1996, McLeod began doing voiceovers, working on a short-lived bet show called The Boot and doing some branding for the Stars Network, Tide, AT&T, the National Urban League, and many others. She did the voice of Tia for the Mattel toy line Diva Stars from 2000 to 2002. Jing. DJ McLeod served as the DJ of choice at Michael Jordan's 50th birthday celebration, at his 2013 wedding reception, and at Jay Leno's farewell party. Light has gone on to provide music for the Image Awards, Nissan, Google, Black Enterprise, and many others. Speaker. McLeod has spoken at colleges and universities, for organizations around the globe, and with notable people like Ian Levonzant, Russell Simmons, and Soledad O'Brien bringing a message of empowerment from her book Unstoppable, Igniting the Power Within to Achieve Your Greatest Potential. She also partnered with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund on the Elite International Tour in South Africa to empower the continent's youth and up-and-coming leaders. Leadership and Philanthropy in 1991, McLeod was featured in TV informer show promoting pro-choice abortion rights political action The Most Exciting Women in Music alongside Karina, Juliet Cumming, Kim Gordon, Sonic Youth, Lady Miss Keir, D.E. Light, Kate Pearson, The B-52s, Crystal Waters, Tina Weymouth, Talking Heads, Tom Tom Club. In February 2006, her diary, as well as a turntable, records, and other assorted ephemeria from the early days of hip-hop, were donated to the Smithsonian Institution. This collection, entitled Hip Hop Won't Stop, The Beat, The Rhymes, The Life, is a program to assemble objects of historical relevance to the hip-hop genre from its inception. McLeod served as the president of the Los Angeles chapter of the Recording Academy, the Grammy organization, from 2011 to 2013. She was the first African-American woman to serve in this role. She is the founder of Hip Hop Sisters Foundation, which presented two $100,000 scholarships to college students each of the first two years of its inception and three 
0.000 scholarships as a part of its Pound Sign Educati Erman initiative during its third year during the Soul Train Music Awards Red Carpet Per Show. Artistry. Influences, style and rapping technique McLeight has considered artists such as Salt and Peppa, 103, Rakim, Roxanne Chante, 105, Doug E. Fresh, Cool Modi, Sharok from Funky 4 Plus 1, and Run DMC as her inspirations early in her musical career. In an interview with XXL in 2013, Light talks about the influence in her early days of Mel Mel and Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, specifically the song The Message. She also claimed to know all the words on Curtis Blow's records. Throughout her career, has also paid tribute to other artists such as Spoonie G, who she covered on Act Like You Know, Slick Rick, The Rocksteady Crew, LL Cool J, and Queen Latifah. In an interview with The Source in 2015, when asked about her motivation to record her latest album, Legend, Light said she was inspired by Kendrick Lamar, Kanye West and Drake, among other rappers. Her style of rap has been described in the book Listen to Rap. Exploring a musical genre as mid-tempo but aggressive, lots of plosives and carefully articulated, with emphasis on end rhymes. Legacy McLeight's diary displayed in National Museum of American History. Greg Prato of Al Music, referred to her as one of the first female rappers to point out the sexism and misogyny that often runs rampant in hip-hop, often taking the subject head-on lyrically in her songs. The Birmingham Times has credited her for helping transition hip-hop from the feel-good, party vibe of the late 1970s into a socially conscious form of expression, as the rapper addressed issues like racism, sexism, and the drug culture had been affecting the African-American community. Billboard, The Washington Post, and NPR have cited her as a hip-hop pioneer. McLeight has influenced the work of later female rappers such as Queen Latifah, Lil' Kim, Dubrat, Missy Elliott, Lauren Hill, Mani Love, Eve, Rhapsody, and Flo Millie, as well as rock artist Jack White. Also about Dotcom ranked her no. 26 on their list of the 50 greatest McS of our time, 1987 to 2007, and no. 6 in the greatest rappers ever survey organized by NME. Furthermore, Vibe magazine has referred to McLeight as the queen of rap. Personal life. In 2016, producer and rapper Q-Tip revealed on his Apple Music One Show Abstract Radio that he used to date Light in his days before landing a record deal with a tribe called Quest. In the early 1990s, Light was in a relationship with Todd, Todd One, Brown, 1970-2019, then the producer of Yo! MTV Raps, and at that time she would also make public in an interview that they were engaged. Brown later said that the latter was part of a joke started by one of the hosts of the show Tyrone, T-Money, Kelsey, he came up with the marriage idea and then mayhem ensued. After the initial show, the story got so big that an interviewer actually asked Light about her marriage and instead of her shooting down the rumor, she went along with it. Citation needed. Later it was speculated in the media that for a few years she had a relationship with actress T'China Arnold. Later these rumors were denied by Arnold. In May 2015 some media speculated that Light had dated R&B singer Janelle Money, but these rumors have not been confirmed by either of them. In early 2016, she started dating Marine Corps veteran and entrepreneur John Weich, after meeting him on Match.com. They announced their engagement in May 2017. What can I say, except thank you Lord. It's been a long time, this single life, and I thank you all for your prayers and kind words of hope, she wrote in an Instagram post dated January 21, God has sent me true love. For all of you waiting on love don't give up, keep God first and he will see that you meet your match. In August they exchanged their vows during a musical wedding in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Reggae Congo bands played as light walked down the aisle and the couple's friend Kelly Price serenaded them during the ceremony. Afterward, an intimate gathering with only close friends and family members was held. In August 2020 she filed for a divorce after three years of marriage. She is an honorary member of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority.